Hello, everyone. There's some important detail you need to, you know, I found myself upon while using ZBrush, and I would like to share with you, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly import, oh, actually, it's tool. I'm going to quickly load up a tool. And this tool here is uh, Mail Athletic. It's, it was made from Nick Z, Nick Zuccarello. Okay, he's a famous ZBrush artist. And, you know, he gave this to the community. But the main point I want to you know tell you is what happens when you you know abuse the scale from Transpose Master. Okay, so as you can see, you know what Transpose Master does. Let me you know. Take off uh, symmetry when you just oh you need more than one sort of sub tool. Let me just create quickly create a sphere, you know, get it out of the out of the, out of the way, then you know hide it, then just select this guy. And pretty much when you select two you transpose mesh, it's going to you know scan all the meshes and you know just going to transpose whatever you're you know selecting uh, to be to view. In this case, I'm just selecting this guy, and it will create you know a new mesh, a new poly mesh here, from where the transpose comes from, and this new mesh is going to have the you know the lowest subdivision level, okay? So, for example, if you come here, you will see that there they have the lowest subdivision level. Up to this time, you know, nothing really surprising, nothing really new. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this to a project I was doing, uh, you know, I'm going to import this to Maya. I'm going to call, you know, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call your test transpose. And I'm going to export this to Maya here, as you can see. Now I'm going to import from the assets here. There you go. Uh, where are your test tipos here? Okay. And as you can see. I did it incorrectly because I forgot to come here to preferences and import export. I forgot to flip these, but no, there's no problem. I just can redo that. I don't know why though, this keeps happening. So, I can just redo that. Anyway, and there you go. Now it's much better. Uh, but my main point is, okay, let's say that, you know, you want to export this to Marvelous Designer, for example. It's what I usually use as my workflow, okay? If I come here and pour, you know, a Marvelous Designer um, avatar, as you can see here, you will see that, you know, this is pretty much Marvelous Designer sized, okay? Now, what I want to show is, uh, if I want to work this with Marvel's Design naturally, I will have to scale this guy up. Okay, because you don't need necessarily to have human scale, but it's you know recommended that you have you know similar sizes to humans here. Right? Of course, since he's a man, he needs to be taller than a woman, and he's like, he this guy has a pretty athletic build. Let me hide this. Avatar. Now uh, the problem is if you go you know beyond a certain trestle, okay. Let's say you know that you put it in real, 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 real big, okay. Then uh, let's say that you want to export this guy back for whatever reason to ZBrush, but I didn't scale it back. So let me let me show you what happens. Three transpose, KO up. Say here, and now let's say you know. Then I scale it up, okay? It's different, there's a different, uh, <clears throat> there's a different position in the, in the meshes here, as you can see. The components, the verticals, the faces, the edges. Look what happens when I import this. As you can see, it's much, much, much bigger, okay? This is before, after, before, after. Now, what happens when you do that, you know, if, if I were to come here to Z plugin and then, you know, hit this again, 
what this would pretty much do is it will f it will do this to your subdivisions and there you go your subdivisions are pretty much screwed and this is something you know that I've recently found out on ZBrush it's it, what this is happening is uh, what this is doing is uh, if you pass a certain threshold on the scale size, I think it's 100 here, you know, because there's size here. Uh, there you go. I think the maximum would be 100. So if you pass this, all the subdivisions are going to be pretty much screwed. So it's the same thing as say, you know, let's say they delete the higher ones and they go up to six in subdivision. It's pretty much the same thing. Okay. So as you can see here, everything's gone. The details are completely screwed up. And then this is what happened, okay? So let me reduce some steps to fix this mess that I caused, okay? And there you go, this is where I left this guy off, okay? Now, in order to avoid that, what you need to do is, let's say that, you know, this buddy is already clothing today, import from Marvel's designer, already animated hand or whatever. You know, whatever you do even doesn't really matter, you know, just please, um, say that, you know, this girl here, you want to scale her, uh, you know, this guy has clothing or whatever. What you need to do is you need to just group everything that you want, okay? And then just, you know, shrink it down, okay? And actually, you could even import another whatever you know from zbrush here could be your sphere could be whatever you took from there okay could be another one of these guys just for reference and you put you know besides this guy so you have an idea of the size it doesn't need to be exactly the same but you know you just put you know this guy exactly like this and once you do that is let's say that i want to export this guy I'm going to export the selection, okay? I'm going to replace this guy, which was usually the skill up, okay? Then, naturally we're going to have this huge tall guy here. Okay, uh, this is the after before. Now what we're going to do is we're going to import the skill up. And there you go. It's pretty much the same size. And when I do that, when I click here to, you know, Let's say that, uh, you know, just for sake of changing stuff, that I just change in. When you go to, uh, you know, to this part, and there you go. As you can see, all the subdivisions have been preserved, okay? So, do never, okay, import a too big object onto ZBrush. It will screw up the Transpose Mesh plugin. I found out the I found that out the hard way, and I'm doing this video to prevent you from doing the same. Okay, thank you for watching, and please, if you like this video, check my other ones regarding ZBrush Productions. Bye.